presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. This is awesome. Uh, come on, parlez-vous. We're going over to Paris. What's happening? Hey, Tom. It's Adam from Paris. How are you, sir? I'm doing great, Adam. Yourself? Yeah, good. Long time no talk. I appreciate everything you've done for me and my family over the years. So, well, we appreciate uh, your ground one problem with us. Yeah, yeah, sir. I've done the gold report and all the softwares and all your books and read it. Generational thank you. you are, seminars, thank so you so much. Appreciate it. Yes, sir. Now, Tom O'Brien. <laughs> Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great day and a great month kicking off June 1st. Pretty wild. Cultivate wisdom. You don't need to accumulate knowledge to become wise. Anyone can become wise. When you become wise, you respect your body, you respect your mind, and you respect your soul. When you become wise, your life is controlled by your heart, not your head. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials trading up 252, Nasdaq's up 202, S&Ps are up 48. That's a gain inside the Nasdaq of 1.5 percent, 1 percent the S&Ps, and 7 tenths of percent in the Dow Industrials. Gold, gold contract up 12 dollars 10 cents, trading at oh, excuse me, folks, trading at 19.94 an ounce. We have silver up 37 cents, 23 dollars 96 cents an ounce. Light sweet crude up two bucks. $70.17 a barrel, notes and bonds. The 10-year note up nine ticks, trading 114.24. The 30-year up 18 at 128. <laughs> Excuse me, 128.29 and King Dollar. King Dollar's taking on the chin out here. It's down 772 ticks, 103.554. The euro is trading at a price point at 107. The yen is at 138 and the British pound is at 125. Oh, I'm sorry, folks. Excuse me. Now, to one U.S. dollar. I think it's something in the studio, man. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Oh, excuse me. Unreal. I want to know what's going on in your world. In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them out here. So, there we go. Okay, so you get the S&P... Right now, it's up. Uh, the spy is up five bucks. You uh, only you only get fifty eight million shares traded, but the bottom line is that you know you're only coming into forty, uh, well, the seventy two. So it's got to do it's got to do that number. Um, the <coughs> sorry, folks. The next swing point up here that this is going after is that four thirty one. Right now, you're 422. 431 is the next swing. That's what that S&P wants to go after. We take a look at the NDX 100, the three Qs. Looking at the three Qs. Three Qs right now are trading up five bucks, 373. That number is 371. That's the next number on here, meaning the next swing point. Next swing point is up there, that 371. You know, the swing that it took out, and it's way away from it now, was that uh, 324. Yeah, three, 334. I can't believe I keep sneezing. Excuse me. We got something in this office, Al. I got to figure this out. Okay, so gold. Let's go to the gold contract. Take a look at the gold contract out here. Gold contract right now today. Today we get 160,000 contracts. You're trading up 12. Yeah, we'll see where this goes. I mean, yeah, that's that's not bad. That's not a bad setup. If we go look at the GLD. The GLD is coming into. Seven, yeah, it's not bad with the GLD. The 5.8 million, you're coming into uh, seven. 
I could do that number. I could do that number. And the number to keep your eye on in the GLD is right where we are right now. It's the 183.22. You're 30 cents above it right now. Uh, notes and bonds, they want higher price, lower yield. Right now, you take a look at this 10 year. 10 years up nine ticks right now. You've done 1.4 million contracts. Um, you know, this came off the bottom. So we take a look at this. Oops, wrong one. That's the one I want right there. So what this did, when this, when this came down the last uh, three weeks, this came down to the almost the 7 6 level. So that's saying on the way back up, it won't break the highs. But the bottom line is it broke its downtrend. So now you get, you get a huge consolidation. You're going to go back up the other side. And if we do look at the 10-year right now, the 10-year is at 3.3 today. And the high, I believe, is 4. Point, let's see if that's the high for the year. Uh, no, it's not. Interesting. So, so still, the low for the year, check this out. This seems so long ago. The low for the year is 2.5, and the high is 4.2. And then if you do six months, I see it was more than six months ago, then that was at 4.2. Because the last six months, the high right now is laying at uh, four. We go into the dollar, we take a look at the dollar. The dollar is what's giving this breathing room out here, no doubt, uh, today. The dollar is down um, 763 ticks. You're trading out at uh, 103.564. Some of the higher volume equities out here today we have, and you know, we'll see whether it's going to be a high volume day. You get Tesla up about five and a half dollars. NVIDIA is up 20 bucks. That's trading at the 398 level. You got, uh, look at the Carvana. That's, that's a trip. That's up 350. A blast from the past, right? Trading 16 bucks. You get Amazon up 270. Let's go take a look at Amazon. AMZN. So Amazon, yeah, it doesn't have any juice behind it, but the bottom line, let's see where the next swing point is here. Well, that's quite a way away. <laughs> In Amazon's case, yeah, we're probably dealing with uh, 146, and we're at 123 right now. That's a big number. We go over to Apple. You know, these, these equities, once these equities have been moving, they just keep moving, and Apple is in the same case. Apple is trading out at 179, and Cook's over in China right now saying they're going to do more business in China, more business in India. So this is approaching its high. It's only $3, $3 away from its high after being down to one. Well, it was only 174, so that's not a big deal. Holy, is that right? No, 124. Okay, so Apple has just gone from 124 to one. 80 again and it took well i guess five months it took five months to get up there stay right there folks we come back with our man mr tim ward and don't forget as you come over to our website at tfnn our man mr tim ward is going to be doing a workshop for us it is next thursday and it's going to be from 4 to 6 p.m eastern standard time He's going to be going over the S&P, how he looks at the market, how the different indicators that he uses. Uh, the workshop's only $295. The following Thursday, he's going to do another one on gold. If you go to both of them, it's $495 or $295 per uh, workshop. Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex Report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30 plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, palm dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen, as well as many more. And he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30 year T bonds as they both influence Forex markets tremendously. When you sign up for the Tiger Forex Report, you also gain instant access to Teddy's 60-minute webinar archive he just hosted, Forex Strategies and Fundamentals, What is Behind the Tiger Forex Report. For all the details and to start your 30-day Tiger Forex Report subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. 
A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks, to Dow. Dow Industrials right now trading up 232. Nasdaq's up 199. S&Ps are up 46. Let's get over to our man, Mr. Tim Ord, as we do each and every Thursday at 20 past the hour. You can reach Tim every trading day at ord-oracle.com. And as you come over to our website at TFNN, folks, you're going to see right on the front page under featured content, our man, Mr. Tim Ord. You get that uh, great-looking guy right there. And you have the S&P 500. June 8th, that's going to be next Thursday. We have gold June 15th. Tim is going to be doing two workshops for us. Bottom line is that he's going to be going through the different indicators that he uses in order to trade this market each and every day. The first workshop, folks, uh, bottom line next week, it's $295. Or you can go to, to both of them for $495. You can take your pick. So go over to our website at TFNN. Real easy. Just sign up right there, and you are off to the races. Tim Ord, what's going on? Great. Talking about that picture, that picture is probably 25 years old. I love so that picture. I, I know. exactly <laughs> like that. <laughs> That's a beautiful but, thing, man. <laughs> yeah, a beautiful thing, so we'll keep it. But, anyhow, I sent you some charts. Yep. Um, so, anyhow, I just, is kind of, I just wanted to show where we are on the S&Ps. And we'll, we'll start with chart one. Uh, I can go back a lot more in time, but the whole thing kind of remains the same. So I went yep. back to, I don't know, several years. And, like and five, on the, on the first there. chart, is that with the McClellan Oscillator? Yeah, the McClellan okay, Oscillator, cool. which okay. is the uh, top window. Yep. And shows past, um, you know, the, the bottom of 19. Well, anyhow, in a nutshell, the, the whole thing is panic again, and there's different indicators you can use to find where panic is yes and you really want to you know basically be along when everybody's heading through the exit door you want to be the guy on the other side going in right so and if you got a lot of different indicators kind of get you pretty close to that level to find out where um you know the, the, the opportune time to really go into the in, entrance i guess so and Tim, well, well, there's a pretty good indicator for that it's not perfect but it's it's pretty good, but right. when you so, ever get a... I'm sorry, go ahead. That's right. So when we're looking at that chart, right, would you right. say that the panic came at the beginning of March? Is that what we're talking here? Uh, for which bottom? The, well, the that's bottom? what I'm trying to figure out. That's what, that's what, that's what I'm asking, right? Is, was it at the last, the bottom of the consolidation that we just broke out of, or was it at the oh, bottom okay. of March, right. or was it the I, bottom? Yeah, I know what you're saying. Actually, we'll lead right up to it. Look, go back to, uh, to, to that bottom in 2019, 
Okay. And my my point is, well, uh, McCollum and Osprey are uh, was it below minus three hundred? You know, that's kind of like a a climax. Then you need a rally to show a sign of strength, just like we said the last time. You got to have a selling climax, then right after it, you got to have a sign of strength. Well, a sign of strength, as far as McCall and Oscar, this is NYSE McCall and Oscar. Yes. Has to go from minus 300 to plus 300. Okay. Usually within 30 days. Okay. And that's what that's what happened in 2019. Wow. And again, that happened in March of 2020. I got it. The, the COVID crash, I guess yep. you might say. Yep. Then, then what we had here in the current time frame, we had a McCall and Oscar hit below, actually hit uh, four minus four twenty in October of last year. Then went to a sign of strength above plus three three hundred, and again it went back. Uh, looks like about March or April, uh, probably March of this year, it hit below uh, three hundred again, and in er, early April. It went back above 300. My point of this, we had two buying and selling climaxes uh, in that buying process, in the current buying process, which basically started last October. Yes. So, now, so that that's pretty rare. I went back. You can go back as far as you want. You really, I can't remember finding two, but this time we got two selling climaxes, two buying climaxes. So this market is pretty persistent. You know, I tried to go down again, went through a selling climax. So we got two. To me, this has more power. It's kind of hard to understand. It's no, no, no. Hey, listen, we get it. This is awesome. This is what we're going to go through. Because what's so right. cool here, folks, watch this. I'm going to put this. That's why I was asking Tim this question. Because when you put this up, that's how much fear there actually was only on yep. the March pullback, which only got to 3808. So that's pretty cool in the context of what you're talking about, Tim. You see that? You know what I mean? It's like, okay. You know, you'd think that when you're talking about, you know, panic, that would have to go a lot lower than that. But the fact of the matter is there was panic in the marketplace. And we didn't get down that much. But, of course, that it, where it matters is that how fast people are selling, correct? Right. That, yeah. There you go. You, you're exactly right. So yeah. we didn't even reach down to the October lows. We went down for right. eyeballing here. It looks like a couple, three weeks. You know, and panic exploded yep. to the downside. That's so, so cool, you know, man. This market is, what I'm saying is, this implies this market really resilient. Right. And uh, so it's, it's got some power to it. You know, it's, you know, previous times when you got down it, just one time a selling climax to a buying, uh, uh, a selling climax to a buying climax, you know, that was the bottom. You, you went straight up. Right. And here we got two. So I'm thinking, you know, this this is this market has more power to it. There's another thing too. Uh, uh, everybody's talking now about the market is and whatever. You know, basically the market doesn't really. Uh, the market, the more money you put into the, uh, the economy, which is what uh, the current president is kind of doing, the, a lot of that money is going to find its way into the market. Yes, as long as that money supply is is expanding or accelerating. You're not going to have a bull. You're not going to have a bear market when they start taking money out of the economy. Is uh, when the market really starts to peak out and go down. So as long as money supply is kind, of, is kind of expanding here, no matter how bad the news is about the economy, there's too much money in the economy. I think uh, for the market to go down. Right. Even so, though what, what is happening is that there is money coming out, but there's more money going in too. I, I'm with you. Right. I get it. I get yeah, it. Trust but, me. I know. So I'm that's, I'm saying that's how bear markets going to go. So our next uh, president, if it's Biden again, with the market may continue, the next president could be, we don't know, but uh, if they restrict the money supply, I think that'll be the time you start getting a pullback. And the indicators will, will show it, too. Right. So, right. Uh, but anyhow, this is this looks really good, in my opinion. The market tries to go down, it can't, reach its panic, yep. and the smart money comes in and rebuys it. So the smart money bought over the last... Uh, approximately six months or so, they bought twice. Yes. And so the hey. public is, in my opinion, is kind of out of the market. They're afraid of it. And the smart money is buying it. Yes. Now, listen, I got this is this is kind of intriguing, Tim, in the context of what happened yesterday. Right. So yesterday, you know, I'm in the weeds here on this. But the bottom line is that all the indices, you know, like they went down and the volume exploded. Yeah. Yeah. You know, so it's like, how do you look at that? Well, actually, you got to watch. Uh, let me. Yeah, 
the really volume to take out didn't quite meet the parameters, but every time you get a 30% increase, in, uh, say the market's going along at 100 million shares a day, approximately 80 to 110 yes. or something. Yeah. And all of a sudden the market explodes and has 130 million shares. That doesn't matter if it's up or down, but if the volume expands like 30% or more compared to the days around it, a lot of times that's an exhaustion move, whether it's up or down. The market will at least stop uh, because, because all that energy is wasted. You know, you have a 30% increase in jump in energy, that's going to stop the market. And that's what happened yesterday. It didn't really expand 30%. No, it was it just the close, I know. 30% from the previous day. Stay right there, Tim. We're coming right back. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. The Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN has just launched their new trading room, The Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. And now they are expanding their reach with The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. In The Tiger's Den, you can look over the shoulders of Tom O'Brien and the other TFNN hosts while they analyze charts during their live Tiger TV programs and join an interactive trading community with hundreds of members exchanging ideas. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day, even at night and on the weekends. The Tiger's Den at Discord is accessible on mobile or tablets as well, so it's always at your reach. To sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders, just visit the front page of TF. NN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now up 183. Nasdaq's up 171. S&Ps are up 39. We're talking with our man, Mr. Tim Morden. Tim's going to be doing a workshop for us folks next thursday four to six o'clock you can sign up for that right on the front page of tfnn you're going to see it right under featured content okay tim so do you want me to go to the next chart now yeah I would, uh, this is a um, kind of a you know we, we keep talking about panning there's a lot of different type. yeah uh, go to chart number two okay and i just want to show you know there's a vix vix is a volatility index yep. and there's a VVIX, which is VIX of the VIX. Yes. And you, you can actually substitute uh, the VVIX for the VIX, but anyhow, it seems to work, for whatever reason, the VVIX seems to work better to find short-term lows. Okay. And anyhow, when the, when the VIX goes up, 
that's kind of like everybody's on the put side. That's yes. how the VIX gets. The VIX is kind of an option related indicator. So, and puts are when the acceleration and put value, that means people are paying up for puts, and it means that they're scared of the market. Actually, I don't want to get a, a bunch of details into it, but a VIX is a good fear indicator. I'll right. put it that way. And the VIX is right. the VIX is also as good as the VIX, uh, as the VIX. Yes. What I got here, uh, the second window down from the top, is yeah. the VVIX. And um, the bottom, uh, okay, uh, okay, the second window up from the bottom is the rate of change, is the, the two period rate of change of the VIX. Okay, cool. Or of the VVIX. Right. So it measures the acceleration of the VIX. Yes. So the faster the VIX goes up, that means there's kind of there's panic in the market. Yes. That's what the VIX that's what the VIX does. So, so it's another form of panic. It's kind of like the trend. Uh, well, it's not even like the trend, but it's another fear with, indicator. Yeah. It's, yeah. it's another panic indicator. Right. So, so, so anyhow, so what I did on on this, I combined the acceleration of the VVIX and compared that to the the ten day trend. Okay. Which is. When, when cool. anything above 1.2 on the 10-day trend is showing panic. Yes. So anyhow, I went back over the last, I don't know, it looks like about a year here. And uh, also, the, the top window is the RSI for the VIX. This okay. is kind of another acceleration thing for the VIX. Yep. So what you're trying to do is measure how fast the VIX goes up. And the faster the VIX goes up is a higher degree of fear. Nice. So it's, a, it's another panic indicator. And when you're looking so at this chart, folks, okay, that what Tim has, when it says ROC, that's rate of change. That's what he's saying. This is pretty cool, Tim. Yeah, I got it. Okay, cool. Yep. Yeah. And so the RSI, so anyhow, so I just went back and took the, uh, the rate of, the two period rate of change of the VIX. Yes. And compared that to the 10 day trend, just get more confirmation of a bottom because when you're step, you know, when you're kind of stepping in in front of a a car at midnight, you know, you want to have some assurance that you're not going to get run over by the market. You That's know what right. I mean? So you, you try to find good indicators that tell you where that car is going to stop before you get run over. Yes. And, uh, and so it's, that's what this, this these charts are designed to do. But anyhow, if you look back in uh, of June of last year, you got the the bottom window is the ten day trend, and it's way above. Uh, looks like about the high of around one point four or five. Yep. And the rate of change of the VIX was at extreme level. Um, I can looks see like that. Twenty five. And the uh, the, uh, the top window is RSI for the, the VIX. BBIX didn't quite get to where you needed to go, but it did help you um, right. pick out the bottom. So, so that's what this, these two indicators kind of do. You want to see fear in the trend, and you want to see the BBIX rising rapidly. And so that's how you picked that shaded blue areas is where those uh, I see it signals yeah signals to, uh, came in at. All right. So that's how you get kind of confidence that. Uh, if you're kind of a short-term trader, you, you don't do some moving averages way behind the time frame. You're picking right. where and that's all the if, you, if we're watching at, television, that's when you step in. Right. If we're watching television at that point, everyone would be saying, oh, we're going to hell in a handbag, right? That's what normally happens. Right. Yeah, that's exactly what you want to hear. Right. Hell in a handbasket. Right. You go look at your indicators and see where they are and see and make sure they're in the hell in the handbasket. If they are, you step in. Right. So right. Cool. Um, so, so anyhow, that's that's the reason why my, my seminars or webinars are all going to be, you know, kind of panic. There's a lot of type of different panic indicators. I use yes. the VVIX, uh, the trend, the ticks. And, and getting to understand these folks is so cool because what, what, it, when you combine them, you know, I can tell you that, you know, the, 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 as I told you last week, the first workshop that Tim did for us, you know, and I'm going back to 94, 1994, that is, folks. Wow. <laughs> um, you know, You're getting pretty old, Tom. I, hey, man, we, we, I start counting backwards at 60, Tim. I'm, I'm not, right, right now, I'm only 52. <laughs> All right. There you go. <laughs> I yeah. wish. So, anyway. But, this is yeah, cool. Yeah, that, that was 94. Yeah. It was 94. Way back then, huh? Isn't that crazy? I know. God, that's, that's 30 years ago. It is. It well, is. Almost 30.
Uh, it was crazy, man. That was a fun time. That was. Yeah. That, Actually, the first time I met you, I remember you uh, you picked me up at the airport. Yeah. And um, uh, you had a Mercedes, yeah. which I thought was pretty cool. Yeah. And you, you had a T-shirt on yeah. that had a, uh, a a graphic of a suit, or a, maybe it was a tuxedo or something. Did I? <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Instead of wearing a sports jacket or something, you had a T-shirt that had a suit on oh it. Oh my gosh! That, that was that was that was pretty cool. Unreal. So, yeah. Yeah. That is but, so funny, man. Totally. Yeah. Yeah. So, but you know, this is so um, cool. So, want to go to the next shot? Yeah, we can go to the next chart. Um, okay. Well, this is the Bollinger Band one. This is a good one, man. Too. Uh, we've always been. You've always been dealing with this. Do you remember when I? You know, I used to have Bollinger on a lot. Um, you know, when the, oh. the market was running, because I remember he was always talking about the aspect of, you know, and you can see it kind of in this chart, <laughs> like at the beginning when the, the, the market loves to run up bowling bands. And I remember asking him, Tim saying, well, look, how long can this go? He says, well, man, he says, I've seen them climb on these bars and just keep going. And that's exactly what Yahoo did until it blew up. I mean, that's, that's almost the question that I remember asking him. But this, of course, was in the 90s before the whole market blew up. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, he's, uh, he's still out there, isn't he? Uh, yes. Yes. I, I gave a, years ago, I gave a, I remember, he, uh, it was, what was it? I forgot his first, Bob Bollinger? Bob? Um, um, John Bollinger. John Bollinger, yeah. you're right. John Bollinger. Um, it was Tom McCollin. Yep. Um I don't know, but a few John other Murphy. guys, about 10 of us, we gave a, uh, a, a, a so I got to meet all those guys. It was in Las Vegas, I forgot. Oh, it was fun. back in the 90s, and yep. and everybody was kind of new to that. Not new, but yeah. you know, call an off player had been around for years because the dad kind of right. was really into it, and Tom was uh, getting into it. But, you know, that's besides the point, let's get back to this uh, uh, indicator here. This is a... Kind of, I think I showed this last week, if not the week before, but this is charts updated to a uh, current time frame. And this is a weekly chart. And uh, the, the, uh, there, all right, you want me to come back or? No, yeah, we, yeah, you stay right there, stay right there. This is Tim Moore right. and Tom O'Brien, folks. Check out uh, the front page of TFNN uh, next Thursday, folks. It's gonna be an amazing workshop, two hours. You're gonna have an hour and a half of getting to understand what Tim is speaking about on these and then you get a half hour flat out you're going to be talking back and forth because that's what you need folks to really get these understood stay right there tim and i come right back if you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market then rocket equities and options report is a newsletter you should try tommy o'brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today.
An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. We have exciting news, Tigers. This June, Tim Ord of the Ord Oracle will be hosting two webinars, providing insight into his renowned market timing methodologies. On June 8th, Tim will delve into the S&P 500, teaching sentiment indicators, identifying market bottoms and divergence, and so much more. On June 15th, Tim pivots to the gold market, taking a look at cycle analysis, ratio studies, advanced decline indicators, and other important tools for analyzing this sector. Sign up today on TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. I'm O'Brien. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow's up 116, NASDAQ's up 135, S&Ps are up 30. We're talking with our man, Mr. Tim Ord. And right now, we have the chart we have up and we are going over is the uh, Bollinger Band pinch. There we go, Tim. Uh, all right, the bottom. Uh, this is uh, the weekly SPX, right? Yes. Okay, the bottom window is the five-week average of the SPX to VIX ratio. Okay. And we showed, I think they showed this a couple of weeks ago. can't remember, but I think but it's kind of a repeat. I just wanted to show where we are and what's happening. Nice. But yep. when, the S, when the weekly S, SPX makes higher highs and the five-week average of the SPX VIX ratio makes lower highs, you're heading into a top. How cool and you is can go that? Back as you want with this, but the VIX is saying the VIX is starting to go up as the SPs goes up. So when you both are going up, so what happens? The market's going up, and the VIX going up, showing uh, that fear is starting to enter into the market. Or yes, um, now, now folks, the smart. Yeah, that that right, right. there is worth the, the dollars for the workshop because. Listen to what Tim's saying. That is so cool, Tim. It's amazing. Okay, I get it. Yeah, yeah. yeah so, so I, 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 I think I wake up in the middle of the night thinking of these stupid things, and I, I go back and, and try to create charts to prove that point or disprove it. Yes. And I, I came up that a couple of years ago, and I went back and tested it. Didn't really work that well on a daily, but it seemed to work really well on a weekly. Okay. But anyhow, it did work back at the, um, well, actually the. Uh, yeah, the March of uh, of 2000 decline, which uh, nobody that well, you know, the that was the COVID decline, right? So nobody really. I, I was back there, and I really didn't see a top of any consequence because I didn't have this indicator at the time. But that picked out the COVID decline. Yeah, if you can see there, the SPs were making higher highs. And that ratio was going right down. And it picked another top in, uh, you know, the January of 2022. You know, you made a divergence there. So that it's pretty cool because thing. now you have you, you had indicators for the lows, you had indicators for the highs. And now talk to me about this Bollinger Band pinch above it. All right. Well, you're talking about the Bollinger Band pinch on the uh, weekly SPX, right? Yes, yes. Right. So we're starting to pinch together. Okay. So even though the, if you look how narrow the market's been over the last uh, month, you know, month and a half, whatever, or actually since the beginning of April, so about two months, uh, and the pinch is starting to really come together. So we're probably going to see acceleration. The pinch doesn't tell you what direction it's going to be. It just tells you the acceleration of low volatility, you're going to head to high volatility. Okay, cool. And so and if you look down at the five-week uh, SPX VIX ratio, yes. the S&P has been moving sideways basically since January of this year. Right. It just it hadn't gone any really, or February, depends how you look at it. it. Hadn't really gone anywhere. It went down, came back, and we're kind of just hugging uh, the January highs for right now. But the SPX VIX ratio is making higher highs. Right. So that's that's bullish. That's bullish. So, no, I, I get I yeah. get it. Yeah, for so sure. Not, you're going to break up, not down. Right. 
No, I'm with you. Because so, if it's the other way around, if the VIX or the SP was going sideways and the SPX VIX ratio is making lower highs and me down. Yes. This is the opposite. So we're going sideways, going up. So at some point, probably, I don't know exactly what day or anything, you know, could be June, uh, July, but we're probably going to uh, see some sort of a, a, a decent surge. You know, whatever news is going to be, don't know yet. Right. There's a surge coming. And, and then if we go to the next price. shot, which is the daily percent index uh, and the bullish percent index of the, um, of the gold miners. Okay. All right. We'll do that real quick. The whole point of this thing is... No, we still, we still get four minutes, percent, Tim. We get still four and a half minutes, so... We got four. Okay. Yeah. We got four. Well, yeah, the bullish percent index of the gold miners index... What it does is measures percent of stocks that are point and figure bicycles in the gold miners index. Oh, the point so and figure. Words, I that's right, man. Okay, cool. Okay. Yeah, it's, it's measures all the the point and figure bicycles. So you know the the top window there um, is a bullish percent index for the gold miners index. Every time it got to ninety five percent, in other words, ninety five percent of the stocks in the gold miners index were on point and figure bicycles. Every time that happened at, at 95% or higher, the market was at the top. Yep. Every time the market was down below 8% or less, in other words, only 8% of the stocks in the gold miners index were on bicycles, and virtually nothing was on a bicycle, only 8% of the stocks were at the bottom. And so when everybody gets really bullish, uh, anyhow, right now we, we did have that uh, bullish percent index it got down to 5% here. Uh, back in uh, late 2022, probably November or December. Okay. And that was, that was bullish. Uh, and so that pretty much matched where the bottom was in the uh, uh, GDX area. That blue line goes right. down. Right. So they, uh, that's my point. It picked out all the major bottoms, all except for one back in 2000. Uh, 18, you had a red line there. That one right. failed. And, and but all the other ones, you were at the bottom. And, folks, so this is what's so cool about this. If you've never done point and figure, I used to have Tom Dorsey on over the, all the time, and he was like the big point and figure guy. It's a lagging indicator, the up or down. So it's so cool what Tim is doing here is that you have, he, he's using that point and figure, and you're getting the extreme. So it's pretty wild because when you look at it, like, yeah, you got a 95 and on that scale, when they'd, they'd be saying, oh, bye, 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 when in fact, oh, that's the sell, 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 and just the opposite, which is so cool. Right, yeah. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah I you're know. kind of doing what the opposite everybody else is doing. No, for sure. So. No, no, I get it, man. A point and figure has always been good, folks, okay, but it lags in a big way. So what Tim has with this ratio is huge because of the fact, I mean, I, 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 I I know point and figure pretty well. So I, when I had Dorsey on, I think he had he had his own program. Dorsey had his own program. Okay, so let's go to the last one. All right, the last. Let's see. I get the monthly GDX and the Bollinger Bands All together. All right. Here's uh, so we got a bicycle on that because uh, everybody dumped all their gold stocks back in say November of last year, and this is the. Uh, Cumulative advanced decline on the monthly, cumulative advanced decline percent for GDX on the monthly time frames. Yep. And it's a great oscillator to keep in bull and bear markets. And so it, it doesn't give very many signals, but the signals it does give is pretty, is pretty awesome. Yes. But the, the bottom window is the uh, up-down volume advanced decline indicators, and it goes back as far as I could go back. But... What it did is pretty much match what happened in the 2016 lows. It okay. got down there in 2019, and yep. again here we're just airing it again. It did cross back up above the mid Bollinger band, which is what my buy signal was created, but it turned back down again. Okay. But it's pretty much matching the lows, so I'm thinking we're pretty extremes to the downside here. Okay. And so the up-down volume did give a buy signal, but turned back down. But it's gone sideways since mid last year. It really hadn't made any lower lows. It just moved sideways. And it's pretty much matching the lows of 2016 and 2019. The next chart above it is a, uh, uh, anyhow, it's, it's actually above the mid Bollinger Band, which is on a buy signal. Nice. So, and the Bollinger Bands are starting to uh, squeeze. Uh, nice. So, well, listen, Tim, this is a pleasure. Um, you know, as always, you know, 
absolutely fabulous. And we, of course, we look forward to the, the workshop next week. All right. Thank Talk you. Talk to you then. Stay right there, folks. We'll come right back. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network at CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow uh, is up 121. Nasdaq's up 154. S&Ps are up 33. And, folks, come over to our website at TFNN. You're going to see right into the featured content. I'm at Mr. Tim Ward. You just heard it. I... I guarantee you, I can guarantee you this. You go to the workshop, you will look at the market differently in a monster way, you know, because the tools that he uses are so unique. And, you know, at highs and lows, that's where the bread is really made, folks, okay? The, the, the middle's great, okay? There's no doubt. The, the middle's great, okay? You get on a trend, ride the trend. But if you can have more tools to give you a low and a high, um, particularly lows, you know, you're going to basically, you know, be in really good shape. So check it out on the front page of TFNN. You know, you just heard him go through it. I mean, he has some great tools, man. And it, and it was so cool about it. He never stops. I mean, you heard him get in the middle of the night. But that, listen, that's how we all are. You know, it's, that's, how, that's what happens when you're in this business, okay? You look at something, you say, okay, what is that? The one thing that he brought up, and I, I brought it up about that point in figure, that is really a cool deal. You know, they're all cool, but I'm just saying in the context of it, because what does happen, he's taken, point and figure is very accurate. The, the problem with point and figure is that you don't get out on time. And as he said, when point and figure is at 95, that's when like, oh, this is great, this is great. Well, it's not great, okay? And when it's on the bottom, of course, okay, 
that's when point and figure say it wouldn't be great. Well, it actually is great, okay? So those extremes, which we know, that's where it's at. When you're talking extremes, that's where you can get the fat inside of the marketplace. Uh, market out here, if we take a look at this, what you're gonna see out here is that uh, still holding up. We got, we got a little downdraft, uh, you know, when Tim and I were on, but nothing heavy, man, just, just enough to, Basically, you know, take some bread off the table, but, uh, you know, you get 75 million shares traded. You know, the last time we were up here, you had 72. So that's going to come in about 85 in the S&P. And if we go to the Qs, I suspect the same thing's going to happen with the Qs out here. Qs are a little light. The Qs are a little light. Last time we were up here on the Qs, we were at 63. You're at 46. But the volume may come in like tomorrow like yesterday. Have a great one, folks. Have a safe one. Come visit Tommy tomorrow morning, 9 o'clock. Kicks it off. Great show. Wow! Look at him, folks.